hey guys how you doing i hope you are doing well welcome to the channel if you are new to this channel and if you are please consider to subscribe it helps the channel thank you very much i want to show you what we got here we got this sandbar this is samsung sandbar c450 sandbar this is 2.1 channel sandbar with wireless subwoofer dts visual x this sandbar is bass bust adaptive sound lit game mode you can hook this sandbar to your tv via bluetooth optical cable when we open this sandbar up we're going to find out if we can hook it up via hdmi cable this is wireless surround sound compatibility so we're going to check it out see what is inside and i hope this will help you to make informed choice about this gear This sandbar is Dolby Audio. Here we go. This is the subwoofer here. And information pack, power cable, battery, it's using triple air battery for the remote and remote included in the packaging and also wall mount. Sandbar here. Nice, very light. Nice packaging. This is very light. Here we go. So the top is for my case wood and the front is cloth. So black clothing in front of it. Very nice. Very slim. Dolby Audio DTX 2.1 channel. See what it looks like. subwoofer here beautiful this is the subwoofer. So this is the manual remote control included in the packaging. The remote Samsung remote power cables. So one is for the subwoofer and one is for the sandbar and wall mount and also the battery. And 
the battery, three put air battery. So up optical cable and HDMI cable not included in the packaging. So this is the subwoofer. This is what we have here. This is the subwoofer and remote control power cables. So two power cables included. One is for the subwoofer and one is for the sandbar. And this is the wall mount and the battery and information pack. So optical cable and HDMI cable not included in the packaging. So this is what is in the box. So we're going to measure this sandbar from this end to so this end is 86 centimeter length, 86 centimeter. The width is 8 centimeter width. Now subwoofer is 8.8 8 centimeter. Okay, and the front from the front to the back is 30 centimeter. Then from this angle. The height 34.5 centimeter. Okay. And uh, so the power cable goes in, in here where it's written power. Now this end you have digital audio in and USB. So the port digital audio in for so for optical cable and usb port and the power cable okay so you can connect this with hdmi cable you can connect it via optical cable and bluetooth okay and uh, usb now i'm going to show you how to set this up using the mobile phone first of all what we need to do is you need to put the battery okay inside the remote control so we have the triple air battery is what it's using okay so take the negative to the negative end and positive okay to the end where it's supposed to be so Okay, now push this up. Okay, this is the remote. And this is the power cable. We take this cable, plug it, okay, to the back of the subwoofer, push it in. If you want to reset this subwoofer, you need to press this button here for you to reset it for five seconds. Then take this and and plug it on to the power. And you can see, okay, so you can see the blue light is flashing. It's not yet paired. Once it's connected, it should be a steady blue light. This power cable goes to the power. So push it inside to the power and plug it on to the socket. This sandbar you can also control it from the top so this button here on the top is for you to switch it on the minus is for you to decrease the volume the plus is for you to increase the volume this button here is input for you to select optical or usb or bluetooth you switch this sandbar on and off from here this button here is the input use this button to select bluetooth or optical cable or usb when you select Bluetooth, then you select pair for the sandbar to be in Bluetooth pairing mode. This button here, the center one, is pause and play. And this, this audio now is pause. If you want to resume it again, you select again. Uh, okay. And 
this is up and down button here this button here is mute the audio it's mute if you want to start it again then it cancel the mute okay and it will show you the volume is currently in volume 3 now this button here is for you to increase and decrease the volume so after the mute to increase the volume you see the number it will display so this is volume 8 then press the button downwards to decrease the volume this button here is information button once you press this button it will show you the connection i will show you the bt or how you the sandbar is connected and also if you select it now it will show, it show us laptop it will show you the laptop number that this sandbar is connected via laptop if you press this information button the center one is sound mode this is bass boost currently so if you change it this is standard and this is channel level visual center if you select visual center then you need to use up and, and down to control it or to select the specific function you want so this is the sound control button or sound control setting this one with gear when press this button you see voice enhancement if you press it again it will show you night mode so you can adjust it accordingly night mode night mode is on if you, if you select it night mode is off so this button here is for you to select voice and night mode this button here is for you to select this is tone control if you select tone it will show you it will show you treble then you use up to increase it or down to decrease it it's showing us now it's decreased to three if you increase it now it go to plus six maximum if you select it again tone control select it again it goes to bass then you select up it goes to bass plus because the, so the maximum for bass is plus six so this is the remote control how it work this is samsung c450 sandbar with wireless subwoofer it's currently connected to this tv lg tv with optical cable this sandbar can connect it like i mentioned earlier to tv via bluetooth and optical cable what i want to do now is to show you how to connect this sandbar to tv via bluetooth so this is the audio currently this is the audio with optical cable okay so what i'm going to do now is to switch everything off and switch the sandbar off unplug the unplug the optical cable so this is the optical cable okay so we want to connect this via bluetooth switch the sandbar on once you switch it on it will show you hello and it's currently showing us digital audio in you need to use the input to select bt it's showing us bt then you select pair once you select bt then you select pair it will be in bt pairing mode now we need to switch the tv on and this tv now okay is currently in optical mode so we need to go to the settings so go to your TV settings. Once you are TV setting, you need to scroll down to the sound. Scroll to the sound. It's showing us now optical out device. Select on the sound, then go to BT. Bluetooth device. Scroll down to the device list and select enter. It will start to look for available device. So it's searching for available Bluetooth device. And this sandbar is Samsung Sandbar C400 series. It picked it up, so select on it. It's connecting. It's connected. So this is the audio. And when it's in Bluetooth mode, you can control the volume using the two remote control, using TV remote control. Likewise, using the sandbar remote control. Do me a favor, like, share, and subscribe. This is how to connect this to your TV via Bluetooth and information 
regarding the remote control. Thank you and stay blessed.